Another team that enjoyed very good success were the Italians. I was told by several of the fly tires that they had a special tire with the nickname of Dona. We'll join Dona and let him show us some of his unique dubbing techniques. Dona? Dona. 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 Dona is with us here. You know, the, the Italians have a rich history of fly tying. A lot of the materials that they use in Europe are from Italy. Uh, there's a common thread here. Tungsten beads, uh, CDC, lead, a lot of the same ingredients we use in the United States. Yeah. And it, it's going to be fun. One thing that I have seen, I, I want to show all of you here, is the uh, colored uh, brass beads. And it's something the French had, something we haven't seen as much in the U.S., but I know they're starting to get in here. But beads are an intricate part of their fly tying. And, of course, dubbings. Most of their dubbings, you can see here we've got some light bright in here. Uh, kind of show what, look at that. Look at how they sparkle. And we you know, for those of you who know me, you know how much I advocate uh, mix, mix dubbing having, that sparkles. Yeah. And uh, with many materials. And of course, have we seen that today? We've seen lots of wire. And we're well, we're going to do a, a bead head nymph. Uh, and obviously, they're using the same type of hook that uh, we've had in the past. Uh, that same style of hook. Yeah. Uh, what, where does your hook come from? Uh, Czech Republic. Yep. Is same hook. Knapp. Yep. Knapp. Yep. yep. It's a handmade hook, and in competition, because of the point, it is a one that will hold fish, and many hooks will not. And the difference of losing one fish could mean the difference of losing a medal. So that, that to them, they don't care what the price of the hook is. It's small compared to the price of of uh, losing a fish. All right, we're going to get started it here. He's turned. got it. He's going to use some lead. Yeah. Go ahead. I turn the lead in the hooks. Letting the hook. That's a good thing. Yeah. Unless if you're in Yellowstone Park in the U.S., they're not allowed lead. No lead. Only bead heads. After. I put yep. some glue, super glue. Super glue. You're going to push it up against the bead and put your glue. You want to do that on your finger or it will be attached to the nymph? Yep. Notice the point, you can see right here in the video, the point is curved up a bit. And what he's going to do, he's smoothing it up. A little bit of a file. There's a new technique right there. Look at that. Excellent way to uh, add a taper. Small light file. Very well done. If you get a chance to get some lead from Europe, you want to get a hold of it because it is such a denser lead than ours. Look at that. Can you imagine some of the lead we get from India would never do that? Okay. Excellent. Again, you can see that, that pointed up. Probably most of the uh, Europeans are using a size 8 aught or 10 aught thread. He's using a lance Boop. and pheasant. Yeah. A dyed rust brown pheasant. And you can notice right here that the butt uh, end of the feathers are to the back, and he's wrapping back. Uh, towards the middle of the fly. Is CDC. CDC. Mix it with the rabbit. With rabbit. Yeah. Okay, let me get there. CDC with rabbit. Okay, got it. Wonderful. So they, they, that's something already we've learned is the, the ability to use CDC, uh, uh, which is, we think, is a wing material you're using in a dubbing. Yeah. Very well done. I use a special um, way to to do dubbing okay. this way. Perfect. Looks good. Okay, watching the finger. Boy, he put that dubbing on in about ten seconds. 
Uh, he's hurrying through this fly because we both have a parade that we have, the closing ceremonies parade, and we're hustling through. Now, he added a little bit of, of uh, wax. He's going to do the same thing. Let's watch him. He's twisting as he's adding the dubbing. Let's look down in here. So he's using the, using the uh, spinning the uh, bobbin and again adding more material. He's going to pull it over. Perfect. Is that perfect? That's a universal word. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Perfecto. Perfecto. Sp Spanish know that word. Perfecto. Notice where the, uh, right here, where the, uh, 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 for the tail. lead is. Yes. Being. Okay, wait a minute. Let's get, get that, CDC. Okay, uh, well, actually, this is uh, the uh, Coque de Leon, isn't it? Coque de Leon. Yep, Coque de Leon. A little, little España touch to the fly. I'd love you in Barcelona. Ooh, that, uh, that is, makes such a beautiful tail. Model tail. Scissors now, we clip that. Again, more wax. I like this now. This is one of the better ones I've seen. Let, let me get down here. Hold it, hold it. Time, time out. Let me get that one more time. That done it? Okay, good. I got it. I got it. Let's see what we're doing here. He's spinning right there with his fingers, pulling it out, smoothing it. Okay, now let's watch here. He's going to take the, bo the bobbin and spin it. Look at that. Look at it go. Whoa. Pretty impressive. And then we're going to get back in here, and as you can see, he's... Wow. Finish. Finish fly. Yeah. And he finished in the middle. This is a proverbial five minute fly. One beautiful fly. Fantastic. Donut. Beautiful. Bueno. Bueno mosca. Taking his dubbing needle and Ah, uh, where did you, t you, you tied the fly off in the middle, didn't you? What finished the middle? Uh, yeah, you finished right in the middle. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can see the knock. If you close here, the, the fly, the nymph, you see a bad, a bad knock. Right. I, I don't like it. It's, hey. for me, it's no good. Not good. You can see where I finished the fly. Right. If you, if you see, yep. well, you can see where I finish the fly. Perfect. Thank you very much.